Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Alright. That's sketchy. How do I get up now? Oh, I just slid down that on my ass. Okay. Not good. Sketchy. Well, the plan was to go to the summit, but I think I found the trail, but it's so slick, I can't get up. I just slid down a big chunk of it on my ass. So, there's that. I'm gonna give it one more shot. If not, I'm gonna head back to that viewpoint, relax for a little while, have the uh, summit treat, and then uh, go back down. But I'm gonna give it one last shot of getting up this section. It's grossly steep and very slick. Uh, we got no traction here. Okay, I'm sliding again. Okay, we're going down. Rusty, come on. Okay. Oh. <sighs> nice jump. It almost took me out though. Okay, down we go. That one section is going to be sketched to go down. Okay. You know what? This looks like a good enough spot to take a break. Oh yeah, okay. That's alright with me. So here's our turnaround point. It's a pretty good view. Unfortunately, there was no way I was getting up that hill. Every step I took, I was just slipping and sliding. I rode down on my butt and it is all down. Pretty muddy, freaked Rusty out a little bit. But we're all good. There's gonna be a section that is a little sketchy, so that'll be great. But I'm gonna take a break here. I am gonna pop open my summit treat. This is as high as we can get safely. So uh, we're gonna call this top and we're gonna enjoy a little bit of relaxation. I'm gonna rehydrate, get some electrolytes in my system. Rusty's gonna have a good drink and we're gonna relax for a little while. <laughs> my butt's all muddy. Awesome. Love it. Killing it one step at a time. All right, I have some of these fancy little water tablets from Noon Hydration. I think that's how you say it. But we've got orange tangerine flavor this time. It's the first time I've actually tried this. So, not this time, I guess the first time. But these have vitamins and all kinds of stuff to help you get your system back up and running from a heavy hike and uh, well that's what we just did so I'm gonna well I'm gonna attempt to open this up there we are grab myself one of these fancy tablets and dunk that right in my water there oh give that a nice shake that's a uh, 475 mils of water. Well, this is a liter, so I'm gonna do two. Bloop. Number two. Get those electrolytes going. Okay, well that dissolves in there. I'm gonna get my seat. So on this trip, I've got a little army surplus chair. I just slid right into the back of my pack there, real nice. It's a little bit older. I used to use this one. It was in the cadets program when I was a kid. But, Still a great little chair, nice and lightweight. So it's nice when you're going up mountains and stuff. Just clicks into place like that. Bam, I have myself a nice little chair. Rusty, come on this way. Come on, good boy. Oh, there we go. That camera's situated there. Oh, buddy. All right, let's give this a try here. Electrolytes. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's good. Mm. 
when you're on the trail, you're sweating all kinds of stuff out of your system. So this helps replace all your electrolytes, gives you a bit of vitamins. It's really nice. Ah, Prairie View Trail, you've been good to me. That's a gorgeous view. We have Cliff Bars. Let's see, I've got white chocolate, macadamia nut, chocolate chip peanut crunch, and crunchy peanut butter. Let's go with chocolate chip peanut crunch. I'll tell you, when I got up here, I thought it was gonna be a lot colder, but it's actually pretty warm. I thought I was gonna have to layer back up, but that sun is just a shining. Oh man. Mm. Okay. Need some water, hey? Rusty's water bowl. Let's get you some water. There you go. There you go. Wow, he was sure thirsty. He went right for it right away. I mean, if I was thirsty, he was thirsty. Oh man, this cliff bar is hitting this spot. All that sweat is really starting to hit me. It's time to throw the hoodie back on. Oh, I'll take her off right away. Oh, when we uh, start heading back down the trail. Oh, but right now, oh, I kind of need oh the extra layer. Whew. This backpack for us has been a game changer. It's a lot better than the old one I had for him. Much sturdier, better quality, good fabric, good zippers. Rough wear, you guys are killing it out there. I am not even close to being sponsored by a company like that, but hey, y'all are interested. Rusty likes your gear, I like your gear. We use it, it's awesome stuff. Hey, let's not dig right now, buddy. You wanna ruin the trail? You don't wanna ruin the trail. All right, wow. That's a bit chilly. Woo. There's some wind for you. Considering this is as high as we're safely able to go, I feel like it's time for a Miller. Oh, buddy. Oh. Oh, that's so good. After getting up here, oh, one of these bad boys, you know, you know. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, that is so good. We've been up here long enough, let's get uh, really packed up and get back down the trail. Yeah, good boy. Hi. Hi. It's good to pack. Yeah, it is, yeah. He carries his own stuff. <laughs> One last look. Hi, how are you today? Good, yeah. Good, thank you. Oh, he's friendly, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I know, you're excited. I know. Oh, okay. It's okay, hi. <laughs> you wanna go walkies today? Oh, yeah. And he's not even tired yet. <laughs> hi. Well, it looks like the long weekend crowd that I was avoiding on my way up is finally on their way up, so I'm happy to be on my way down now. I had a nice chat with a, 
a lady though while I was having my summit treats, so that's good. Oh man, it was way too slippery. Everyone, when they got to where I got, they were all turning back too, so it's uh, it's a good, good turnaround spot because it is way, way too slick, even for spikes. Everyone was saying the same thing I was. Well, I'm happy that we didn't decide to uh, risk it for the biscuit, and then we turned around, because everybody else did. It was pretty sketchy, so. Riding back down now, easier cooking, which is nice. Got a little five kilometer stretch until that, that sign that we saw earlier, and then uh, a few kilometers after that, and we'll be back at the car, so. Here we go, back down the trail we go. I was really hoping for there to be less people at this point, but that's okay. It is a long weekend and it is expected to have a lot of people out here. So I had the trail to myself for a little bit, but now it is just group after group after group after group. But so we get out here early, so the hike up is just at least in some kind of solitude. Oh man. And it looks like someone's playing music on the trail. Just a friendly point to anyone out hiking. Some people just like to hear the sounds of nature. Use, uh, use headphones like I do if you want to listen to a podcast or music or something because man, not everyone wants to hear what you want to hear. Not everyone wants to listen to your music, especially out in the bush where nature is king so keep it to a minimum and try to enjoy some headphones uh, but that's what you get when uh, it's a long weekend and there's a bunch of people out here who are very unexperienced it is what it is hi it sure feels good to have the hard part of the trail done we're just going down now so everyone else is still coming up they're all in the suck phase I'm just cruising now Hello. Hi. Hey, enjoy the hike. Hey. Oh. Wow, it's busy on the trail right now. There are so many people. Man, that's how long we can hike for you. Oh, that's why we get here early. Early as can be. Hi. This bear spray's getting annoying. I really wish I brought my, my holder. Totally forgot it. But he lived in the urn. It is crazy busy on the way down. It was nice that it was only me. I was just suffering super hard on my way up. No one but you guys has to see that. Man, I just can't believe how busy it is. Also, the lack of people that I've seen carrying things like bear spray or bear bells or bear bangers or anything like that. Guys, come on, how dumb are you? It's bear season, it's spring, they're coming out, they're hungry. What are you doing? Protect yourself. I know they're, you know, tools that only work so good and, you know, sometimes they don't work at all, but it is better than nothing and sometimes those bears just want to come for you, so it's kind of surprising the amount of people who don't have anything up here. 
I mean, the amount of people who are just out here with sneakers and like a, a little teeny tiny water bottle. That's shocking too. Because, man, if you get lost out here, you get hurt, you're the only one, you are screwed. Have yourself a satellite communicator, call yourself a rescue, some help, bear sprays. I have a tarp with me, cooking stuff, an emergency meal, extra clothing. If you don't have it and you need it, you're gonna really wish you had it. Make sure you're prepared out here, guys. Don't be dumb. Yeah, he carries all this stuff. Oh, okay, buddy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Have a good hike, guys. Ooh. Oh, we are finally out of those switchbacks, so it looks like we're just gonna be doing downhill little spurts, maybe the odd up in a random area and flat ground from here on out. Man, this has been an absolute joy of a hike. Again, this is driving me nuts. I really need my holder back. Oh, buddy, I have no idea where I put it. We moved recently, and uh, in that process, all my gear got Oh, discombobulated. So, trying to locate where all the, the little things are now. Most of the big stuff is all figured out. But he's like bear spray holders. I'm like, where the heck did I put that? So, trying to figure out where that is. This is this is annoying, but at least it's accessible, and at least I have it. I almost forgot it, but the brain is working, and I did remember it. So, that's a good thing. That way. Okay. <laughs> well, we're at the spot where I made my little mistake earlier. I went way under down there instead of back over there where we came from. But, uh, you know, at least I realized my mistake and we uh, got to where we got to. So, good stuff. Hopefully, the next time I come here, I can actually get to the top because I'm a little disappointed. Really wanted to, uh, you know, get to that peak, but it was just it was way too dangerous on this shoulder season. So, anyways. Let's keep on trucking. Well, we're at the easiest part of the hike now. Oh, the lake is in view. It's a nice wide trail. It's easy walking now, so nothing but good vibes from here on out. Not that there's bad vibes, it's been a great hike. Up was a little challenging because I was hauling, but you know, that is what it is. We just ran into the friend I made at the top of the trail, met up with her down here, so I had to say hi once again. But yeah, we are almost at the end here. I think I'm gonna take Rusty over to that little access point that we had seen earlier uh, for the lake and let him go for a swim. And we are lakeside. I know you want to go for a swim, sir. Yes, you do. Let's get you uh, out of that backpack and let you go wild. Oh, here you go. Run, buddy, run. And in the water he goes. You're soaking wet now, buddy. How's that water? Is it cold? Is that water cold? Back to where he goes.
Yeah, you got your zoomies out, huh? Oh man, this is a nice little beach here. Hey, but hey. Back on him. I'm gonna throw my pack back on and we'll get back to the car. Oh. Alright, let's go. Still can't get over how many people are out here this long weekend. I thought the crappy weather forecast was gonna drive everybody away. But it is a gorgeous day, so I guess everyone decided last minute to come out and do this hike. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon now. So people are just starting it. I mean, uh, good luck to you guys. You enjoy that. But I sure was happy to have the trail to myself for well, most of the time. But man, coming down there was far, far too many people. Yeah. These trails are just getting so, so popular. What a gorgeous day though. It's an absolutely perfect day out today. Started out a little cold, but honestly, starting on a hike where you're going uphill, that's not so bad. I uh, definitely wore too many layers in the beginning. It's always my downfall. Be bolder, start colder, Dean. That's the lesson. That is definitely the lesson. guys well that is it for us on this adventure we had an absolute blast out there on the uh, prairie view trail fortunately didn't make it all the way up to yates but i was for safety concerns and i really didn't feel like putting rusty at risk if it was just myself probably would have risked it for the biscuit but you know it is what it is thanks so much for checking out the video and until next time guys i'll catch you later